Hello everybody and welcome back to Competitive Multiplayer. So we have now got an empty pit, well mostly empty. I can't for whatever reason scoop the rest of this out so it will have to be cleaned up using the landscaping tool. But before we do any of that, I think we should focus on this field here because it's now ready. It's our oat field and as you can see the fertilizer is pretty good and we have a good yield bonus as well. Uh, I did spray it but it does still say partial weeds. I really can't see much. It's probably just the, the bits that I've missed. Yeah, it's because I missed a few bits. So, um, overall, it's extremely good. So I think, before we get the combine going, let's jump into the tractor. We'll attach it to the trailer. And actually, yeah, I don't know if that combine can reach over the sides. I can actually remove the sides to make it lower, because it's currently set up more for silage. Uh, but if it can reach over which I think is going to be pushing it, then it means we can keep it in this configuration. Oh no, that's, that's not bad. Easily. Very easily. So that's really nice. We'll just keep it as it is. So I wonder if we can make it a full lap round without emptying. I want it to, obviously fill up as quickly as possible because that means it's yielded really well but at the same time yeah it would be good if we can always empty in the same sort of place then we'd have to chase the combine with the tractor okay there we go so yeah workers are allowed in this series I believe I always get them so confused every series I get mixed up uh, yeah I think the only series where I'm not allowed to use a worker is survival challenge but I don't know if I want to use a worker I suppose it would be handy for when we're carting because chances are this is going to be sold straight off the field and we'll have to bail it as well unless I go for a big forager we could go for a big forage wagon and pick it up that way but I think yeah bales would be possibly faster actually I don't know Probably about the same. I would say bells would be cheaper because the big forage wagon would be pretty expensive to rent. Out of the field, there we go. So yeah, it's filling up pretty quickly, but it looks like we probably will make it back to the start. Excuse the lag, it comes and goes. Get these awful lag spikes, then it's fine again. I'm not too sure why, but the straw swath coming out of the back of the combine doesn't look very neat. It's like really staggered. So I'm not too sure if we're going to have to windrow this, hopefully not. It's quite a wide swath. But yeah, that's the first little section harvested. I wonder if the entire field is going to fit into the trailer. Okay, it's only 16% full, probably 20% full after this bit's gone in. Although, yeah, it's... Uh, probably pushing it saying that so we'll have to see but if we can get a full load or even more than a full load that would be really good so yeah it would make sense for me to use a worker because then I can use a baler and we can start working on the straw um, it's not the best shape field for a worker but I can give it a go we'd also have to keep taking the tractor off the baler so it can tow the trailer. Unless of course I just stop the worker or take over from the worker and drive that to the trailer instead. So there we go, put that onto helper and we'll see how it does. 
thingies. It would take me so long just to go and pick up a baler. I wonder if we can buy anything in the sale. Oh, look at this. It would be good to have a second tractor. 50% off. Um, I'm very tempted. Yes, it would be good to have a second tractor. That means I can keep this here as well. Although, yes, it would be the new Holland that tows the baler. Because I'm not going to go for a small one, I don't think. It would be good to go for... Well, I suppose it could be this one. Because that can still make some pretty big bales. And only just short of £3,000 to rent it. Do I have anything leased? No, I don't. Fantastic. So, in fact, yeah. With this baler, the massive Ferguson can run it. It's brilliant. That has saved so much time as well, having to drive over here with the New Holland. Just drive in one direction. Okay, I will see you back over at the farm. It's only got 11.6 hours on it. It's a good tractor. A very good buy. Half price. Wow, I managed to make it all the way back to the farm without the worker becoming full. Although, yeah, this tractor is struggling a bit on the hill. But if it can't run it, it's fine. I didn't buy this tractor for the baler. This is for all the smaller jobs. Um, so, I will make my way over to the New Holland so that we can put the trailer alongside. But there's no point in just driving in a straight line. We might as well drive with this thing engaged. 180 is the biggest. And I'll have automatic drop enabled. But I do need a way of moving these, obviously. So, is it time that we either went for a telehandler or do we put a front loader on the tractor? Actually, can this tractor. Oh, it does. It already has a front loader attached here. Very nice. So, we'll probably put a front loader on this. And as for the trailer, we're going to need a, a flatbed trailer of some form. But I'm fairly confident we do have the money for everything for the trailer and for the front loader. Especially, as we'll have the oats to sell. And it is January, so the price for oats should be pretty good. Oh, it has stopped. <laughs> I thought it was moving. It's still done a decent amount, though. And there we go. Right. So, let's set that off on a work again. Jump back into actually we'll, get, we'll jump back into the new horn to get this moved. Get it out of the way, and I will continue bailing. This trailer is now forty three percent full, so are we over forty three percent of the way through? I think we are actually. It should all fit into one trailer. It's very important that we get the bailing done today. I don't want to be keeping the baler for an e another episode because it will basically incur a daily fee. Which won't be very much, but it's still an expense that we could do without. My biggest problem is stopping to allow it to unload. <laughs> That's why I tend to go with the uh, the Quadrant or the Heston balers. Because they never stop, I always forget. Because, well, it sounds weird. I don't play with the sound on. I can't have the speaker switched on because it will echo in the microphone and I don't like to wear headphones or earplugs so yeah I just don't have the sound on I have to keep looking at the bar if I was playing a game normally without doing a video then I would just have the speakers on but I have played FS without the sound since about well since the beginning pretty much I did start off wearing headphones But it's not like I don't know what the sounds are like. I do edit the videos, so I do hear all the game sounds when I'm editing. Okay, looking good. Let's get as much done as possible.
Right, well, progress is pretty good. The worker has stopped, I think it's got a bit confused. So that'll be the end of the worker for this field. I'll do the rest of it myself. Just going to do a little bit more baling. I think we'll get everything that's been currently harvested baled up. And then we've got that chunk over there that needs to be done. But we are getting there, and as soon as we are finished, I can then fit a front loader to this tractor, get the trailer, load them up and sell them. Uh, but that should be after we've sold the oats. I think the money which we get from the oats will be quite impressive. Probably worth taking a look. Oh, it's actually decreasing. But it has peaked, 1892. Yes, yeah, so it's still very good. It's still an extremely good price. So I'll just very quickly get these last two swaths done. Oh, that's pretty steep. <laughs> uh, although this tractor has been performing very well. I certainly do not regret buying it. It's been really good. There is also a slither of uh, crop over there that we'll have to harvest. But there we go. Switch the engine off. Let's jump into this. It's even missed that piece. Interesting. Uh, right. Overall, it doesn't really come to much, I don't think. Must drive in the crop, as we do have the uh, crop destruction. Upright that bale. <laughs> and get the rest done. Not too sure how many bales we have yet, but it certainly looks like quite a lot. And they're big. Nice big bales. I would look at the statistics, but of course they're not available in multiplayer. So we'd have to count them. Which really shouldn't be too hard. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, I think. But it'd be much easier to count them when they're on the trailer. But even so, 13 already. That's more than I'd expect. Okay, so let's get this final bit of baling done. I need to be careful though, because I think once we have got this last bale out, well, the second to last bale out, that's 11,000 litres, we want to be reducing it to a smaller bale, because if it's not completed, obviously we're going to lose it. It's a rented baler. So we'll do the smallest bales. I might have been able to get away with 150, but better safe than sorry. if we get really desperate there are a few bits and bobs just dotted around yeah I think I probably could have got away with 150 yeah definitely but not to worry just 5,000 litres there hopefully we can get two I think the baler wanted to <laughs> looking at that it threw it out twice Okay, is it too late to upgrade? Yeah. So basically everything from now on is wasted anyway. It, there's not enough for a second small bale, or a third small bale. So it would just be a case of tidying the place up. Yeah, okay. So we'll return the baler. We need to go over to the store anyway to pick up the trailer and the front loader. So, I wonder if I should, yeah, I think before we do any of that, I will sell the oats because the price is always decreasing. It is on the way down, but I'll tag the sell point, it's the usual place I think. We'll 
get the New Holland pulled up alongside the Combine. Will it be a full load? I don't think so, but it's going to be very good. This is, after all, a very big trailer. But I am impressed with the reach on that auger. We could actually have a trailer even taller. It looks like it would reach most trailers. It must be almost there, but 75% full. This is good. It'd be good if you just kept going until we got to 100%. Okay, there we go. <laughs> 77%. Very good. Almost 25,000 litres. Not quite. Right, now we have quite a drive ahead of us. But don't worry, you don't have to sit through it. I will jump cut. Here we are. This is quite a big drive. As I suggested once before, it'd be good to get some fields in this direction. Then we could maybe dedicate those fields up there to crops which will be required for animals or something. So we don't have to cart all the way to here. But, yeah, I don't know how much we're going to make here, but it would be good to get about £35,000. Okay. Hope for the best. Very good. 45,000. And then we have the bells on top of that. I think the price for straw is actually really good as well. Yeah, 140. The best we can possibly get is about 144, 145. Uh, it's not always what it shows there because that's just what it's been in the past. But uh, yeah, I'd be extremely happy to get 140. So, calm down trailer. Let's get this taken back to the farm and then we can focus on getting the trailer and the front loader. Okay, I just lost connection for some reason. The connection is really bad today. So, what can we go with? Let's take a look here. We want to be in bale loaders. Ah, these are good. Yes. And because we do have the, uh, the round bells, we definitely want to have some sides. Probably these. They're good. Um, I think everything else is fine. Oh, auto load. Oh, yes. Yes, there's no rule against that. Yes, please. That would be extremely good. Okay, that can take 28 bells as well. So we should be able to get the whole lot on in one go. Quite an expense, but worth it. Definitely worth it. it. Means we can get this whole field cleared in no time at all. And we can get it all sold today before the price changes because it is on the way down so it can only really get worse we'd have to wait until next December to get a price like this again not only does this save loads of time but also we don't have to buy a front loader or a front loader bell spike such a good buy I'm not too sure if you can mix bale sizes. I wouldn't have thought you would be able to, so I must start with the big ones. The small ones can just stay here if they don't fit on this particular load. Uh, yeah, this is the priority. Getting these on. Oh, it stacks them that way. I was not expecting that. Is that a small one? No. That's a small one over there. Uh, yeah, let's just make sure we get all these first, then I can try them, but I don't think it will work. Because I know that the other ones, the other auto stackers say that it does not support multiple bell sizes at the same time. Just trying to imagine how this will look once it's fully loaded. Although I suppose, yeah, we don't have 28 bells here. Makes it very wide. Okay. It works. It definitely seems to work. So that's all the bells cleared from over there. This field has taken quite a bit of time today. Uh, this might be the final big one. 
everything else I think is a 125 centimeters yes okay so they can be cleared up next time let's get these taken over to the cell point wherever that may be where does straw go to the animal dealer the price is decreasing rapidly okay that is pretty much going back to the store we've been there before it's where we sold the silage to I think as the New Holland is faster I will use the New Holland for now I'll just pop this in here but that was our purchase for the time being the next thing we buy I think is going to be land it'd be good to get some more land uh, but probably not in this area but the money is building and we do have all this grass again Maybe if I take a different approach. Although, yeah, having the pit is not a bad way of doing it. Certainly a wire load. But anyway, we're almost there. That is our cell point. Although 13 bells doesn't sound very impressive, it is, because there's 11,000 litres inside each bale so that soon adds up and it is only straw so it's not going to be thousands and thousands of pounds well, it might be a few thousand but yeah if it was silage that would be super impressive okay so to unload bells press Y oh that is good it was thousands and thousands Okay, so we're going to leave it there. £71,404, not a bad place to finish. Um, we might spend it next time on a new field, we'll see. But we will have probably another field to harvest, and certainly the grass needs to be looked at. But that will all be coming next time. So, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode, and see you again very soon. Bye for now.